up this week. You all know I love my curry recipes. This is the one which goes with the curry perfectly. This is my 15 to 20 minutes. Yep, 15 to 20 minutes. Doughy on the inside, crispy on the outside, garlic and coriander naan bread. Mm. So naan breads, it is the perfect side dish. That and your poppadoms, obviously, always got your poppadoms as well. But the naan bread, as far as I'm concerned, is the perfect side. So on this channel, those that you watch it will know that I love my curries. I have it probably two or three times a week. We've got about 20 or 30 curry recipes on the channel. What I haven't done is my naan bread recipe. And the reason I've done this recipe is it's not one which takes an hour, an hour and a half proving times, knocking about the bread. It is gonna be quick and easy and done in about 15 minutes. So, bowl. We have got 260 grams of self-raising flour. It's like a Michael Jackson concert. <coughs> and then we're gonna add into there a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, good pinch of salt. Make ourselves a little well in the center and give that a little mix round. And we'll start incorporating some of our wet ingredients. Now, most of my curries that I write, I can get them done in about 15 to 20 minutes if they're a chicken based or a vegetable best based dish. But for the naan breads, you can never get them done in that sort of amount of time because you've got to wait for it to rise and it's a pain in the bum sometimes, unless you do it in advance. This is one of those ones which you've got your curry on the go and then you want to get on with the naan breads, curry's bubbling away, get on with your naans. Into the scent, I've made a little well and I'm just going to add a cup of yogurt, that's just plain yogurt. And I'm going to add a splash of olive oil, probably about two teaspoons of olive oil. And I'm going to add a splash of milk. Now at this stage, I just want a splash because I want to start incorporating this but I don't want it to go too wet straight away. So good mix round, another splash of milk. Now this comes together really, really easy. Now really quickly, if you add too much milk to this, it will go really sticky and it's gonna be a pain to work with. So as you can see here, I'm just using the tips of my fingers. That was probably about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of milk so far and the yogurt's doing the work. And that, when you can see it, can start cleaning the bowl so that all the dough is just taking off all the rest of the dough from the bowl. That's when you know it's the right consistency and that's good to carry on kneading. So giving it a little bit of love, a little bit of time, just to stretch that out so you know it's gonna be really, really elastic and doughy inside. And there you can see it's come together to be a really nice dough. Tucking underneath like this in a circle. Just use the dough to pick up any of the excess. There's something so satisfying about doing this yourself, you know, making your own breads and things. We're just gonna section that off now. So a couple of good sized pieces. I'm literally just gonna roll this backwards and forwards. Measuring my pan, because that's the size I want it to be. A little bit of rustic's fine, it always is on this channel. That is your perfect little naan, ready to go. Now, flavouring wise, that you want to put on there, I'm going to put some garlic in here as well. So a couple of cloves of garlic, nicely chopped, but you don't want that to be too fine. You want to have these nice big bits in there as well. I'm just going to lay that down, scatter it out, lay it down on top, like so. Little smash with our rolling pin. That's your garlic naan. We've got some nigella seeds. Just gonna run them across the top as well. Press them in. And then finally, we've just got a little bit of coriander over here. This is totally optional. I love coriander, as you all know. So I'm gonna use this as I need to. Just tear that little scattering over the top. Again, with our rolling pin, push this down and that is your naan bread ready to go. We're gonna get this pan nice and hot. And once that's nice and hot, and we're just gonna lay that into the pan just to cook through. As Soon as we start getting some nice bubbles on here, I'm just gonna flip this back over again. I don't think there's anything better than the smell of bread cooking. I mean, it's just the best smell in the world. That and curry, obviously. And that is your naan bread. 
and you're just gonna finish that off with just a little bit of butter over the top. There we go, that is my 15 to 20 minutes. Garlic and coriander and naan breads, fluffy on the middle, crispy on the outside, proper little doughy parcels of goodness. Go and choose one of my curry recipes, there's loads of them out there. Then come along and make the naan recipe and bring the two together for your perfect Friday or Saturday night takeaway. Get recreating it and if you do, copy me in at Hayes Kitchen as always. And I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye bye.